Hi everybody, I'm in Germany today. I'm on the same location uh, where I found that awesome soldier's ring a long time ago. And a lot more interesting stuff. I'm in Germany, I'm next to the Siegfried line. And the first find of the day is this very strange cartridge. I've never found one like this before. It's very long. I really don't know what kind of cartridge this is. It's very strange, very strange cartridge. Looks very old. Interesting, let's carry on. All right, so. Next to where I found the strange cartridge, I found another one, but it's a different one. This one is shorter, and yeah, it looks a little bit like a 303 cartridge. I'm not sure. Nice, let's carry on. All right, so I just found this very nice German uh, World War II ration can, probably uh, fish. Too bad I broke with it with my shovel, as you can see. But uh, yeah, it's a very nice World War II uh, German ration. Awesome. All right, so I just found this, and I believe this is a part of a uh, German uh, Stillhandgranate. Stick grenade, I believe. From a grenade. Nice. All right, so this was pretty hard to take out because you can see a very big root right there and right there. And it was right under there. This is what it was. Um, I don't know what it is. Maybe transport something, I don't know. Maybe from one of the bunkers here. Hmm, it's definitely something. But I don't know. Let's carry on. Just found uh, this, some kind of uh, ration. There is some writing on the side right there. There are some letters. I'm not sure what it was, but it's definitely old. All right, so I did a recheck on the hull and there are more in there. Um, as you can see, uh, this is definitely a German position. I found a ration here before. So they definitely had their camp here and um, yeah. This is probably some food. Look at this. That's another one. Looks like they're still closed. That is awesome. So that's number two. And we've got a number three there as well. Look at that. Let's try to take it out. There we go. Wow. Awesome. Look at the condition. That's still pretty good. Three the same. Is there more in there? Yeah, there is more in there. Ooh. Exciting. Yeah, I believe we've got some more there. We'll be right back. All right, so there are five of them. And as you can see, this one is uh, damaged by my shovel. Don't know what it is, smells strange. They're all still full, I believe. And this is a bone. I grabbed it with my bare hands. So they uh, definitely ate here. Here's another strange bone, piece of a bone. So yeah, they definitely had their camp here and uh, they were eating here all together probably. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. Guys, look what I just found. A broken, very thick iron ring. Can you imagine how much force it takes to, uh, to break this? Big explosion, probably from uh, one of the bunkers maybe, this. Ventilation shaft, I don't know. It's uh, very thick and it's definitely exploded. Wow. All right, so I just found this strange looking yeah, some kind of hook. Not sure. Very strange item. Hmm. All right, so I just found a very nice looking German World War II mouse around. Very nice. Got some rust there on the side. It looks like it's uh, in good condition. Very nice. It looks like a, this is sort of a um, MG nest, something like that. You can see the edge right there. And uh, yeah, this is where I found the ration somewhere there. Very nice. All right, let's carry on. All right, so I just found a small part of a uh, tube right here. And right next to it, I had a nice signal. And take a look at this. A very nice old zipper. And I'm pretty sure this is World War II. Um, it looks very nice. There is a ring on it right there. Don't know if they did that themselves. Maybe it's, I don't know if it's US or maybe German. But look at that. Hopefully there is a marking in there. And we can see, um, yeah, which country it is. Awesome. And I just found a horseshoe. I'm not gonna take it with me because I, I have a lot of these. But it's a cool find. Let's carry on. All right, so I just found this. Cigarettes, uh, it's still closed. Could be from the Second World War. Not sure. Looks very old. Nice. All right, guys, I'm going to do a small dance. Yes. I just found a shell casing, but it's not a normal shell casing. Take a look at this beauty. And she's mine. <laughs> Let's 
Look at this German shell casing. This is absolutely fantastic. I just walked to the other side um, of the path. I, was, I took one swing with my detector and I had a very big signal. And take a look at this awesome find. It's in absolutely fantastic condition. And it's German, 1942 and a German Eagle right there, the Waffenamt. This is absolutely fantastic. I am really, really, really happy with this awesome, awesome find. Wow, this is absolutely fantastic. So I just found this thing. I believe it's a primer from a uh, mortar grenade. Um, the other side you can see this. It's definitely a primer thing. Uh, so yeah, it's another very nice find. But wow, that shell casing is absolutely fantastic. Awesome. All right, guys, this is going to be the last find of the day. We didn't have a lot of time. We had a very short time, but we found some awesome relics today. Um, yeah, it's getting dark and it's getting colder. But this is a uh, piece of shrapnel from a Flak 88. So that's very nice. It's aluminum, as you can see it says S slash 30. Yeah, very nice piece of shrapnel. Awesome. Hi everybody. I'm in the same forest as yesterday. I'm in Germany, the Battle of Aachen. And uh, as you can see, a uh, big piece of a uh, German bunker, exploded German bunker. And over there, look at this exploded pieces of bunker. Take a look at this pile of pieces of concrete here, you can see. Still some camouflage on this piece. Awesome, let's see what's up there. Wow, look at that. That's the bunker right there, remains of it. And here we've got some more pieces. Wow, this was a very big one. Look at this, looks like it's fell, looks like this is the the top, this right here is the roof, I guess, because uh, as you can see, this is going down, so yeah, I believe this is the roof, look at this, this is awesome, very nice piece over here, wow. Guys, my day is already just, oh, I don't know what to say. I just found something extremely, extremely amazing. I cannot believe it. I just found a whistle, but it's not just a normal whistle. Um, it's a, uh, what I think it is, and I saw it on the internet, it's a German World War II officer's um, whistle, and this is Unbelievable, I cannot believe this is just, oh, I cannot find anything better than this, guys. I mean, this is absolutely amazing, unbelievable. Wow, <laughs> I am so happy with this. This is so cool. Take a look at this awesome, awesome small find. This is so personal. And they lost it right here. As you can see, this is sort of a, uh, sort of a trench here. And they probably were hiding behind behind this and uh, yeah somehow lost it this is so freaking cool let's carry on guys all right guys next to where i found the awesome whistle i just found this amazing German Mauser cartridge, in fantastic condition, and uh, yeah, it's absolutely great. Yeah, I uh, damaged it, but I don't care. I mean, I've got that whistle. That's unbelievable, and it's uh, pretty close to the bunker. What a day, awesome. And I just had another amazing find. Look at this. This is uh, stainless steel, and this is from some kind of a small dagger or from a uh, yeah, small knife. But yeah, it's broken, as you can see. This is uh, just one part of it. Um, hopefully we can find the rest, but this is definitely from uh, some kind of knife, probably used by the Germans. This is very, very nice. Another very nice find. 
Wow, and it's in great condition. It's uh, stainless steel. Awesome. All right, I just found this lighter. It's not World War II, but it's a nice old lighter. As you can see, I damaged it with my shovel. It was uh, on the surface here, so yeah. But it's a nice old lighter. Guys, take a look at this awesome German structure. This right here, this is a uh, Panzer Mauer. This is a wall made against uh, enemy tanks, and it's pretty high. So you uh, need to watch your step here. Let's uh, take a closer look. Looks very, very, very awesome. Look at these old steps here. Still from the Second World War. Look at this. Wow. This is so cool. There you can see a bullet hole. Probably 50 cal or something. Can you imagine the blast that happened here more than 70 years ago? Massive. All right, let's go this way. Whoa, this is, oh, look at that. This is so cool. Panzermauer from the west wall piece of wood right there. Look at that, how bad it's damaged. From uh, shrapnel probably. Piece of flying uh, concrete everywhere. Some kind of uh, can here. Looks pretty old. Just above the ground, some kind of oil can. Amazing, look at the original paint still. This is so cool to, uh, to walk here. Oh, look at the rabbit. Also a couple deers ran away <laughs> a couple minutes ago. This guy's right here, this is history. Just found this very strange cartridge, it looks like the same as I found yesterday, but then shorter. Very strange. Nice, let's carry on. Alright, so I just found some more pieces of shrapnel, and I just found this strange item. Looks a little bit like a small hat. I do recognize this from something, but I don't know what it is. I'm gonna take it with me because it, uh, it's a pretty strange, uh, interesting item. Yeah, let's carry on. I just found this in the same hole. Piece of uh, shrapnel. And this uh, big iron ring. Probably uh, grenades, package material, something like that. Big shells. You will find pieces like this everywhere. Exploded uh, things of iron. You can see it's definitely exploded. I don't know what it was, but uh, yeah. Another World War II era item. I'm not gonna keep this one. All right guys, just found this. It's broken. It's uh, supposed to be um, a uh, German World War II uh, barbed wire uh, holder, or how do you call it? It's uh, for a barbed wire around it and then they uh, roll it all the way everywhere um, through poles and through everything. German defense position. So yeah, it's for barbed wire package material. All right, so just found this small piece of shrapnel and this small can, um, I believe I broke it with my shovel. I'm not sure if I did that, but I believe I did. Um, yeah, it's probably uh, Nivea or something like that, maybe. I'm a German soldier. Interesting, I uh, had a couple more signals right over there somewhere, but uh, it was pretty deep, so that's gonna be for uh, another time. But yeah, a nice uh, old uh, can. Awesome. All right, guys, I'm pretty sure this is uh, the front of a exploded bomb. And I believe I found the, another part of this yesterday, uh, closer here. So look at that, it's definitely exploded. And it's uh, aluminum. Awesome. All right, here are the finds after some cleaning. Of course, I found a lot more than only this, but then I'm talking about pieces of shrapnel and uh, exploded iron bars and stuff like that. 
and I'm not gonna clean uh, everything of course because it's gonna be a lot of work cleaning all those uh, big pieces of shrapnel but uh, also this is not clean completely but I just want to ask you guys if you recognize this please let me know because I don't know yeah it's sort of a hook but I really don't know yeah what this was used for if you know please let me know and also this unknown item yeah I've seen it before but I'm not sure what it is and also this this looks like a bell from a bicycle or something like that not sure strange item here we have a part of a chain probably uh, also used by the Germans and here we have some pieces of shrapnel and like I said before these are not all the pieces of shrapnel of course but just a couple of them here you can see one that's a little bit cleaned pretty good condition still here we've got a sort of a strange screw and here we've got a the front of a bomb as you can see it's definitely exploded look at that it's aluminum and this is what I found yesterday it's definitely uh, from the same bomb pretty cool here we've got a I believe this is from a stick grenade or something like that I'm not sure I'm pretty sure it's from a grenade I'm not sure if it's from a stick grenade pretty interesting here we've got a piece of shrapnel as you can see it says S30 and these were used by uh, by Fleck Fleck 88s that's very nice we've got a exploded cartridge here we've got an item that's not so interesting it's uh, probably from a uh, post-war television or something like that. Here we've got a pretty nice looking uh, lighter. It's uh, post-war, but it's still a nice looking old lighter. Here we've got cigars or something like that. Um, I'm not sure how old it is. I cannot find anything about it. Maybe this is from one of the soldiers. Who knows? I believe this is from a mortar. I'm not sure that this is from a mortar grenade, but I think so. Or maybe from a big shell casing. But it's definitely something related with a bomb or explosive. Here we've got those awesome little cans and the German ration. These are all German rations, I believe. I believe these are German too, uh, because they were found in the German position. And I'm not sure what they say, but they are very cool. They smell pretty strange. Not sure what was in there, but it's still in there. As you can see, there's still some writing on there. And it says P1 and then some... Yeah, some writing. I'm not sure what it says. This one is actually still in pretty good condition. And on this side, you can see you need a small key to um, to open it up. Very interesting old cans. I'm really wondering uh, what these were. And here we've got the uh, German ration, fish ration, uh, with the lid, the broken lid. And yeah, I broke it with my shovel. Too bad, but it's still a very nice uh, German World War II ration. Here we've got a part of a tube, probably a toothpaste or something like that. I'm probably never gonna know what this was. Yeah, maybe Nivea or something like that. I don't know. No, I believe it was red paint on the bottom, not sure. But yeah, it's definitely World War II uh, from one of the soldiers and uh, some kind of uh, cream. I don't know. This is a part of a package material for a German barbed wire. Here we've got three very strange cartridges. They're all different, but they all have the same marking. They all have the N right there, so they're all from the same factory. They're all German. And uh, yeah, this one is very strange and long. This one is shorter. And as you can see, it's the same factory again. And this one also, as you can see the N right there on top. Very strange. I believe they're pretty old. Maybe they were used for hunting or maybe they were used during World War II. I don't know. I've searched for the cartridges on the internet and I could see that there were lead bullets inside of them and I found this one right next to the long one so yeah I probably shot this one and uh, yeah pretty close to himself this is what's left of a uh, another lead bullet this one was found next to the anti-tank wall the zipper that we found turned out to be a World War II German zipper which is extremely nice it says zip right there and it's just a great find and as you can see it's still dirty because I do not want to damage it anymore I really do not want it to fall apart because it's very nice and there's still uh, remains of uh, wool on the back as you can see right there so this is uh, yeah this is just a very very nice find <laughs> This right here is also a very, very, very nice find. It's a cross guard from a uh, bayonet or a uh, trench knife or a dagger, whatever. It's uh, probably German. It was found next to the whistle. Hopefully we can find the rest of it one day. I still cannot find the exact model of this one. 
the ones that really looked like it was a trench knife, the German trench knife, but also a lot of daggers. So uh, maybe an officer dagger, I really don't know. It's definitely a cross guard, but guys, if you recognize it, which one, please let me know. As you can see, it's in great condition. It's uh, stainless steel. And as you can see, that side is flat. And that is a little bit like that. So you can see what it looked like. Hopefully uh, one of you guys will recognize it. That would be awesome. And here we've got the amazing cartridge. It's actually from a French World War II 25 millimeter anti-aircraft cannon and it was used by the Germans because this one has a German Eagle right there the Waffenamt and it's from 1942 so this is uh, this is French from a French cannon under German control and that is extremely nice just take a look at the condition it's unbelievable uh, it's very hard to find pictures of uh, this shell casing as you can see it's just extremely nice there you can see the German Eagle I really love those small historical details. You can see that stripe right there. That is from going inside of the chamber and going outside again. That's so nice that you can still see it. Look how shiny it is after more than seven years under the ground. It's just unbelievable. I'm really glad I found this cartridge and it turned out to be a very rare one also. So that's awesome. And now my favorite find and probably yours also the German World War II officer's whistle. It's still in extremely nice condition and it looks like rust right there but it's actually not. It's still dirt because I didn't clean it too much because I really do not want to damage it. This is just an awesome find. It's very personal. It's very rare to find also. I mean guys, when do you find something like this? The Battle of Aachen, used during the battle. This is a whistle, lost during battle. This is absolutely fantastic. And the, the best thing about it, it still works. Listen to this. It's unbelievable, guys. After more than 70 years. Here. Can you believe it? It still works. It's unbelievable. And it's pretty scary at the same time. Because I'm the first one who is using this thing since 1944 that is so weird they use these whistles for attack signals and training and uh, yeah in this case definitely attack signals it was found on a german position in aachen so i mean that's so cool hitler really didn't want to lose that city uh, aachen was the first big german city that germany lost so that is so cool this is from the battle of aachen it's very personal, a German World War II officer's whistle. That is absolutely stunning. watching everybody I hope you liked the video if you did like the video please leave a like and a comment if you have any questions feel free to ask and subscribe if you want to see more metal detecting videos thanks for watching and have a nice day